Welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe. Make sure you get Jordan to 1K subscribers, okay? I, I'm not bluffing. Diverse family, okay, we support anybody that gets on this channel. Anybody that gets on this channel, get support. So, go get them to 1K! That was a nice intro. Today, I'm gonna be going over my ruined locks. Before we get into the video, it's like I can't do any video without being hyped, man. <laughs> I really can't because my intro just commands it. My intro is hype. Make sure you go subscribe to Jordan. He's a content creator. He does uh, dreadlock, dreadlocks updates also. And I believe he has different contents on his channel. Make sure you check that out. But before we get into this video, here is intro. Make sure to go follow me on Instagram at Activers. Alright guys, so recently uh, I've been having some <sighs> Time to cut my dreads. My whole front is ruined. Why is it ruined? Isaac, shut the hell up! I got a lot of chest hair. I might start drilling those. Thanks, my dude. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to insta lock your dreadies. Banger! What is the issue? First of all, let's get to the roots of what is the issue for the issue. Okay, my front line, my god, my god. Or should I leave it how it is right now, like a fro? I can even grow this to where I can start braiding it. How long, for those of you guys that's probably asking how long I've been growing this, I think I've been growing this for four months maybe? I think four months, I think four months, I've been growing this for four months. So this is what it looked like, this length. And some of it is dyed too. Right here, there's a bleach right here. You can't even see my hairline because it's a bleach. I bleach my baby hairs, which I'm not proud of. I don't do that. I need my line, man. I can't, I can't. You can't go nowhere, bud. You cannot go nowhere. I need you right here. I need you to be coming down like this, like that. Crispy line up, man. So, my thing is, if I dread this, if I end up dreading my baby hair, because this is some of them are my baby hair, uh, I will not have much line up to do. Other issue I can do is, I can dread it, brush some down like that, and start giving myself a new lineup right there. Boom, darker, lay it down, 
boom, darker. Because I want my lineup to be darker. The issue was, every time I kept on brushing it down, see how much I was taking off my dread to get like myself a crispy lineup? So this whole thing was ruined. So today, first of all, I'm gonna show you guys how to insta lock for those that are starting. Since this is like a link of basically a starter locks, uh, I will show you guys how to do insta lock. And for those of you guys that are fixing your dreads or maybe in a process like mine, uh, make sure you follow the process that I'm doing because I'm gonna get it, uh, the whole thing retwisted to the original dreads that I have up here. Because as you guys can see, kind of still thick but it's kind of losing its thickness see that and what i'm gonna do is after oh damn my dread is long what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna keep growing these and then lock it with this so actually it might not even be that long till it's like it's good enough to get locked up with these so i can do it anytime but i decided to do insta log for you guys so that you guys can know how to start your dreads and also if you guys are going on a journey like mine make sure you don't cut off your hairline too much because you're gonna end up taking away a lot like mine uh like stop brushing down much kind of like put your hair up like this and then brush down like use different techniques to avoid uh this mess up right here because this is a huge mess up on my dreads but once it's fixed and done trust me it's going to be like it's still the best dreads and it's going to continue to be the best dreads. no, no cap don't don't hate to start off insta locks you just need a few things first thing you need is crochet hook crochet hook is uh is a big crochet needle or crochet hook is a like a needle with a hook at the end i recommend it to get it at greatlocks.com because um it comes with different sizing and stuff like that like 0 0.5 0 0.7 and so check the greatlocks.com out to get you crochet hooked and other stuff also for drill locks that will help you i used to have a different comb that had like a pointy end that's the ideal comb to have for like separating your locks i use this like on my beard Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this channel, man. For those of you guys that just be coming here out here and just not doing nothing. For those of you guys that just been just checking out videos and not doing nothing, man. I should slap you. You are who I say you are. Not your servant. Hey, you are what I say you are. Okay, we're going to start, guys, with the, with the front. Because that's the only part I need it. See so yeah, this whole mess right here you need to get locked up with the other one start off what you guys do is you guys need to section out your hair pretty good okay so you don't want anything that is uh, loose basically you want everything to be sectioned out to be do it tightly and if you start in your locks you don't have to finish it on one day you can always wait to finish it later on so for those of you guys that want to get dreadlocks and you starting your locks today for example do not try to finish the whole locks on one day because you will have you won't have a great lock man you want a great lock that's what you need that's what you want and so yeah so depending on how thick you want it to be these front ones since they don't have any anything to go back towards i'm gonna just work sideways on it so i'm gonna borrow the neighbor and different way of doing it so there's people that put like a gel on there and then they twist it until this thing is all twisted up which is the good way to start off i would say but later on it will come down the moment you wash it best way to do it is to go about it like this with the kind in a way to get it all in singular place and then you crochet hook it and one of the things that i dealt with was dry scalp and the more i touch the scalp more flakes will come out I tried rice water and it did pretty good to it. I just didn't stay consistent with it. I think I need to keep going at it. And so, as you guys can see the loose end or the loose hair and making sure that everything is squared enough. Looks like when this was originally done, it was taken away from, see, that part of hair that should have been on this side is on that side so i'm not i'm just not gonna touch that i'm gonna leave that alone for net for natural things to cause it to come back if not just let it stay there i'm not gonna mess with it um and if you don't really work on your dreads you won't get the best dreads man and it takes time that's why i say don't try to do it on one day one night don't try to do it until they're great finished my whole locks in one day with like four hours or six hour work but uh it came out amazing man and it was because he knows what he's doing and for those of you guys that are starting it'd be difficult for you guys and that's why i'm telling you guys to just wait a few days uh to finish your locks start off today 
or whatever day you set out to do and work your way there. Get a hat or something just to hide it so people don't, you know, clown you guys. But after you're done, you, nobody's going to clown you. You're going to clown them. So I'm using crochet hook method and I'm making sure that I'm pulling in the dreadlocks and not away. Like I'm not going this direction and pulling it in because then the roots will come out. Like I will start snapping the roots out. Uh, but if I'm going this way, I'm just pulling in the hair and I'm twisting at the same time. And people that do use a lot of products, like whenever you go to professional pres retwisting place and stuff like that, if they don't use a crochet hook, that's why your dreads are skinning out. That's why you're going to have dread loss in the future uh, where they fall off, especially if you have thin hair uh, or thin dreads. Uh, because they don't use this crochet hook method. Crochet hook method is one of the healthiest method, uh, I would say, uh, because first of all, you're keeping your thickness on the bottom and you're not twisting it and twisting it and twisting it and twisting it. I've done that to do dry retwist before, or I've had that done before, just to section the part out and kind of like make sure that it is good. But in the future, to be honest with you, uh, if you want to retwist it, don't just retwist it. Get a inner, use an interlock method maybe, and also like crochet hook method, man. Like this is the best way to get safe dreads. Like I'll, I'll tell you that. And I'll show you guys, see, it's already looking good. The thickness is still there. See, I didn't lose no thickness whatsoever. And I don't want it too tight. I need it tighter, like, so it don't come out. But I don't need it too tight, so. Boom. See that? Still good. Still thick. And it just needs a little bit more work to it uh, to make sure that it doesn't come out when I wash it or when I put it in a bun. What do you guys think if I turn that to a dread by itself? You guys think I should keep that as a dread? Cause I'm about to crochet a hooker right now. Uh, it seems like it's thick enough to hold its own. Uh, of course, when it grows, it's gonna get thinner. Uh, but at the same time, it's big enough to be its own, but at the same time, it's small enough to connect to the other ones. But it's kind of like almost as far away from them cause the other ones have the I have a pretty good root back there. See, you see what I'm saying? And if I connect it, it'll be like a st stretching it too much. What I can do is I can grow it and then congo it up with the other ones till it grows enough to be long enough to join the others. What if I put jewelry on it? And how I know if it's supposed to go to these dreads is if I move it this way and that way and it's a stretchy. If it's too stretchy, then it ain't supposed to be with that, with that dress. So this one is kind of like a little bit too stretchy. What do you guys think about the uh, the transformation? Uh, should I keep this or find a place for the for the hair to connect to, or should I keep it an iconic thing like this? Uh, my dreads are kind of like back now. Uh, all I have to do is, like I said, everything that I connected, 
I need to crochet hook it for it to stay there or else they will start coming out because they're uh, short hair so they will have that problem all the time especially if I end up washing my hair and coming out the shower and stuff like that every hair kind of like goes down kind of like because the water just takes it down to the roots and if it's falling down like this it goes to the tip of it and the water like drags it there and so if it is up here it will automatically come out a lot of times people that are starting layer locks they have those problems especially if they don't use like interlock and crochet uh, hook method I recommend you guys do that and use those methods to make sure that they're tight and if this like this length I would say do other stuff with a two strand twist will work and stuff like that but what do you guys think about this middle one does it look goofy iconic keep it what, what do you guys think I, I might just keep it for now even till the next video and stuff like that to see if it grows on you guys if you guys end up not liking it and if I don't end up liking it either also I take your guys's comments highly uh, and so I want to know what you guys think about that so thank you guys for watching this video check out the previous video make sure you subscribe to Jordan and the next video you can be the next guy that's gonna do the intro so hit me up in the DMs and let me know that and send me the intro on the DMs to be honest with you all right love y'all stay tuned you dig that's amazing that that is a crispy look and I like the fact that you screen recorded your uh, camera and it looks fire. Maybe I need to do that on one of my posts and maybe tag you in there or something like that because this is kind of iconic. Okay.